morning from Monteverde Cloud Forest. We've just arrived here after parking at the lot, which is about a mile down the road. It costs five US dollars and there is a shuttle that brings you up here to the park. You then have to check in at reception because we bought our tickets online about two days ago. We were intending to come yesterday. However, the tickets were sold out. So it is advised to actually book a few days ahead of time. Now that we're here though, then we have been told to start on what is known as the Camino Trail. So looking forward to seeing what wildlife we find. sure but crossing our fingers so far we have seen monkeys and that was at the very beginning however they were really hard to capture because the rainforest here is so dense that you just really can't see through all of the greenery and if I'm being completely honest while the walk has been absolutely stunning I'm a little bit disappointed that we haven't seen many animals yet I feel like I'm being teased because there is this constant song from the birds. Like, I don't know whether to describe them as a choir of birds or an orchestra of birds playing their instruments. It's absolutely beautiful. But as I said, just because of how dense it is, we haven't been able to spot any, which makes me think that perhaps it's better to come with a guide here rather than go by yourself. Anyway, we shall continue on and Hopefully we'll see some more animals because there is so much more of this park to explore. to the end of the La Ventana trail and you're met by this particular viewpoint where on a clear day you're supposed to see stuff but because today it's really overcast we are right in amongst the clouds so beyond the tree line here you can not see a thing it's crazy how high up we are
to the end of this particular trail. However, I have to rescind my previous statement. This was all worth it just to see the coatis. And I mean, the monkeys were cool too, but coati is a totally new animal for us. And we stood there for like five minutes just watching this family forage and play and run around. It was amazing. We ended up bumping into a few of the park employees and they actually said that Kwatis are pretty used to human presence. So they just go about their day in spite of us being there and so it proved. It was just amazing to see them just doing their thing, not scared of us at all. And they're also so cute. Definitely a collector's item that one. Now we have to decide what hike to do from here. Mm -hmm. didn't see a lot on that trail. We got one fleeting glimpse of a hummingbird and that was about it. But we are going to head back for another couple of trails to see if we can see any more, but then we're going to call it a day. Just like that, five hours later, we are back in the car. I have to say, the last trail that we did was actually the best for spotting birds. We ended up seeing a really pretty yellow one, a green and blue one, a blue and black one, and then one that kind of looked like a toucan, but I don't know if it was. So... Just to put specific labels on it, because we definitely know our stuff when it comes to bird watching. <laughs> the only difficulty is that while there are an abundance of bird species in the cloud forest, a lot of them are quite small and quite agile. So before you even have an opportunity to prepare your camera, usually they've completely jumped to the next thing. So actually getting any footage or even a photo is really difficult. That may be why it's a little bit limited on the ground, but hopefully what we've been able to give you today gives you at least a clear enough picture of the kinds of things you can expect to see. Um, while we're here, we just kind of wanted to talk about your options in terms of entry because we ended up paying, what was it, 26 USD per person to get in. If you want to do tours and you do have an option for a night tour, which is 35 bucks, and that's when a lot more of the wildlife are apparently active, but obviously visibility is less. And then in terms of options during the day, then there is a bird watching tour available, which is $75. I think... 
had we only spent a couple of hours in there and only done maybe one or two trails, then perhaps we would not have said that it was necessarily worth just doing entrance and we may have ended up fronting up a little bit more. However, because of the fact that we did take more time to explore the park and we did more trails and we really did our best to see as much as we possibly could while we were there, then we did end up seeing quite a lot of wildlife in the end. It just took longer in general because this park is just vast. Yeah, I think our biggest advice is just be patient. A guide isn't strictly necessary. And yeah, just to echo what Nick said, this park is way bigger than Manuel Antonio. So the concentration of animals is not as high. For now, we're just gonna head back to our guest house and have lunch. So we have actually been home a while now. Lunch was delicious. I've had a shower. And then we've both gotten down to working, which usually entails me doing the editing for YouTube and Rachel doing stuff for the gram. But I think that's basically all that we got planned for today. We are going to be heading on to our next Costa Rican destination tomorrow though. So we will definitely be bringing you along for that. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.